new 1966 Turbo Smooth Holden goes all out on everything except the price. New comfort, new power, bold new lines that make you look and look again. See the car, drive the car that sets the pace in 66. The new Turbo Smooth Holden. Hello there, it's Liam from Unique Cars and Parts and I'm with Pat and his absolutely remarkable HR Holden Premier. I'm being told by the wife that I use the word remarkable too many times, but this is truly remarkable, the condition of it. The paintwork is, is absolutely gleaming, it is magnificent inside. Um, there's a bit of a backstory, you've only owned it for about four years. Yeah, about four years. I uh, bought it off a client, um, he had it in the backyard just sitting under a carport um, it needed a, a fair bit of work, so I fully restored it. Uh, didn't have much rust. Uh, it's got original 186, everything's original, and I just restored it all back to original. It took me about 12 months to do. It's got the original motor in it? Yes, it has. And the HR came with disc brakes, didn't it? Yes, and mine's got the disc brakes in it. And was that an option on the Prem, or was it a standard Prem fitment? I think it could have been an option on the Prem. <laughs> Okay, and, and what I love about this is, uh, as I do so many Holdens here, is you've kept it absolutely stock. I can see that you've got the heater, but that came standard. The bucket seats, are they still leather? I know that in the EH they were leather. No, they're, they're a vinyl seat. They came out with a vinyl, not leather. Um, you can't get the original colour, but it's very close to the original colour. So that's been reupholstered? Yes, it has. And smoking was a thing back then because you've got ashtrays in the rear of yeah. both of the bucket seats so that's it counting it so you've got three ashtrays yeah that's correct <laughs> that's correct okay <laughs> <But> never used. <laughs> never used. now uh, looking at it and saying it's all original but i'm guessing the tires weren't weren't um i'm guessing these are radials because you've driven it here but i'm guessing it had cross plies when it came off the factory yeah, i've got the i've got one of the cross fl uh, plies in the actual boot because it doesn't, the the uh, radials don't fit in the in the spot for them. But yeah, they're radials. You can't. They're very hard to drive <laughs> with with the old cross plies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you mentioned that, uh, that you bought it off a client. You mentioned to me before we did the interview that you're a car broker. No, no, I'm actually uh, a home loan broker. So with mortgage choice. Well, <laughs> life's been <laughs> tough the last couple of months. Yeah, oh, it has. <laughs> but things are on the up. It looks exactly. like the government are backtracking on that decision. Well, good for you, Pat. No, no, thanks. And, and and so how often do you get this? I was going to say how often do you get it out, but the car I'm talking about, how often do you get this out, Pat? Oh, I, I take it out a few, t whenever there's a show on or take it for a drive. Yeah. Uh, and, and the next outing is going to be? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it, just sits, it just sits in the garage covered until I want to use it next time around. Have you been to the Trafalgar Holden Museum? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Well, I suggest you take a look. You, he will be impressed to have a look at this, and you'll be impressed at what he's got uh, to show. Now, I was wondering, could we have a look under the yes, hood? Yes, okay. So we're just at the other side of the HR now, looking at the original engine, Pat, and it's the 186. Now, I thought this came with the 179 as standard on the prem. No, they came out with the 186 too. It was the 179 dropped? They did that increase the horsepower? Yeah, I think so. But the, I think the 179 are a better motor as per for. For power and doing up but the 186 is more reliable i think they're a better motor well that's what i've been told well that's we can only ever go on what we're being told has the engine given you any trouble no i've had it re i've, I've had it fully rebuilt and uh, was it expensive to get it rebuilt about three green okay that's not too expensive no, for a full bad. for a full rebuild well, $3,000 isn't a lot to spend on getting a motor up to date, um, you know, re fully reconditioned. And you were saying you weren't sure how many kilometres or miles. No, because when I, when I purchased the car, it had a 202 in it. And um, the, the, the guy I bought it off, he told me that his uncle owned the car before. So we rang, rang up his uncle and his uncle had the, the original 186 in the garage. So we went and picked it up and I had that one rebuilt. So, so it, it came with this particular engine. 
It was replaced by a 202. Yeah. You're able to track down the original engine, get that overhauled, and put the original one back in the car. Exactly. That's dedication. Yeah. That is, Pat, that takes... And, that and take, luck. And yes, luck, too. That takes some doing. Now, since you've had it uh, rebuilt, I'm guessing it's given you no troubles. The red motors were bloody reliable. Yeah, no, no trouble at all. And and so this thing's going to be good for at least another 100,000 kilometres. Oh, for sure. And, and judging by the amount of kilometres you're doing on it, that's going to take your lifetime. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Well, Pat, it, 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 fantastic looking car. Um, thanks for taking time to, to show me your car and have a quick chat about it. Um, if anyone gets the opportunity to go to a Holden show, and are you a member of the HR club? No, no, Cruiser Knights. Cruiser Knights. Well, Werribee in Werribee. Cruiser Knights in Werribee. Well, let's give Cruiser Knights a bit of a plug. Cruiser Knights, what are they, what are they up for? Um, well, we've got we've got probably about two hundred members. We've got an old toner and a, and a Werribee um, club meets, um, and yeah, it's a good club to be in. Uh, sounds like a really good club, and I'm guessing the idea is that, is that cars go on cruises yes. down down to Geelong Way, or yeah, we do one, once a month. A monthly cruise, and what sort of cars are eligible to join the cruise and nights? You don't even need a car, but you it, you, you know. walk, you walk, you can <laughs> no, a fast walk following the car. You don't need a classic, no. You don't need a classic, but you, but you can join the club, and it's a, a great you know bunch of guys. So. Okay, well you heard it from uh, Pat himself. Get on to cruise and nights if you if you're down Werribee, and uh, also subscribe to Unique Cars and Parts where you'll find. Some, plenty more videos like this. Pat, thanks again. Thank Good you. on you, mate. No Thank worries. you. Bye-bye. Shaped by the rugged wind and the powerful sea, the oldest of continents, with elemental beauty and power that's the perfect setting for the new 1966 Turbo Smooth Holden. Look, look closer, look again. This year Holden's gone all out on everything except the price. New styling, new power, new comfort. Years and years have gone into proving Holden's rugged reliability. Now Holden has been engineered to a new turbo smooth power. You only have to drive it once to discover nothing else will do. It's the all-time high in Holden's. The new turbo smooth Holden for 1966.